I'll be showing you step by step how you can set up a completely free return app for your Shopify store to make the whole return process easier. We're going to be using an app called Return Prime. Now I have no affiliation with this app, but it is completely free and it offers some really cool features. It allows you to create a customer friendly portal, automatically send return labels and create replacement orders on Shopify. You can refund to a gift card. Also allow store returns, exchanges with any product set. You can also connect a 3PL partner to Return Prime to make the return process faster and easier. So there is a completely free plan here. And this app has a perfect five stars on 359 five-star reviews. So now that we know the app here, let's hit add app and begin the installation sequence. If you're comfortable with the permissions, hit install app and let's begin setting things up. So once you've installed the app, let's go over some of the basics that you can set up. On the left-hand side, you'll have your settings you can see returns that have been requested approved inspected refunded archived and rejected you can see exchanges as well under the same criteria you can also get reports under your team or specific user performance you can also get analytics about your returns however you will need to upgrade and activate the paid plan you should see a initial setup screen and let's go through each of them to make sure everything is set up correctly so the first thing you want to do is set the store policy so you can define the return and exchange window enable exchanges with any product, all to provide a seamless experience to your customers. Let's go and set up the policy here. So first we'll set the return window, the number of days up to which the customer can return their order. Let's make this 30 dice here, just as an example. Exchange window will also just make 30. I'm not gonna set up the restricted for order date or restricted for product text. This could be useful if you're running a sale during a specific time period where you're not gonna accept returns. You can also then set up the exchange rules. You can allow customers to place exchange requests even if the product is out of stock. And there are some restricted options here, but they're gonna be under the upgraded plan. You can also enable multiple return. The customer can return multiple items at once. You can also set a return fee that's gonna be automatically deducted from the return. Let's say you're charging $5 per return. Once you're okay with all the settings, hit save here. That's gonna set up the return policies in the application. If we go back to home, our policies now set up. Let's go and create refund reasons and the refund methods based on those reasons. Let's go and create these reasons now. So with your reason, you're going to get quite a few options to set up. First, it's going to be an if else condition. So reasons will be shown for customers in a specific region. You can also set not to be shown if the customer is in a specific region. So let's just set this to all regions for now. We're then going to set if the reason is applicable for returns or exchanges. And for now, we'll select both. And we're also going to set it to apply for all products here. This will be a similar setup to what Amazon does. If you've ever tried to return something, it's going to ask you several reasons why, and based on what you select, it's going to give you different return options. If you've ever entered a defective item, it will most likely give you a full refund. If you're just returning it, you'll have to go and mail the product back as well. For the reason name, I'll just say didn't like the product. I want to take a moment to mention our sponsor Profit Calc the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. All you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations on how profitable your store actually is. It syncs seamlessly with all your different ad accounts and many cost of goods sold options. Having a true understanding of your store is going to let you make smarter business decisions. So make sure you check Profit Calc out. You can find it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left. There's also a link in the description below both of which get you access to a 15-day free trial so you can discover your store's true profitability. And for the specific message, I'll just say something along the lines of you will be required to ship the product back. Make it mandatory for customers to opt into this. Then you're gonna get different options depending on the payment method they use. For manual paid orders, you can do store credit, bank transfer, or others. If it's gonna be a refund, you can also select which refund modes you wanna choose. I'll leave these as default here. For photos required, I'll just say no here as they're gonna ship the item back. The description, I'm gonna leave no here as well. And for what return methods do you wanna show the customers I'll list ship back myself so the customer will send it back on their own rather than me printing a shipping label for them. So once you're done with all these settings, you can hit submit and that's going to create our return reason here. Now for the last step, you can get the link you can use and let's go and add this to our navigation so customers can find this page. So I'll copy and paste this link here, then go back to my Shopify dashboard. From there, I'll go to online store in the left hand side, go down to navigation and I want to add this to the footer menu. So I'll click on the footer menu here and I'll add a menu item and I'll list return portal and then I'll 
paste the link that I went and copied from the application, and then I'll hit add. After that, I'll just hit save menu, and this return portal will now be added to the footer of my store. So if I then go to the store and I scroll all the way to the bottom, you can now see my return portal link. If I click on that, it's gonna open up the returns and exchanges. From there, customers can now enter in their order number and email or phone number, and this will get them to the return or exchange portal which you can then select their reason. The last customization, let's go and change that button color. So you just wanna to go to settings in the bottom left, go to general. From there, we can edit the button color at the bottom. Let's make it more of a black to match the theme of the Shopify store. Once that's done, hit save. If I reload the page, I can now see it's a black find your order button. So overall, this is how you set up the return prime app to allow for easier returns for your Shopify store. It includes several different integrations, and the majority of the app is completely free. This is gonna speed up your return process so it's not a lot of emailing back and forth with customers. If you enjoyed the video, I would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Lastly, I wanna mention ProfitCalc one more time, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. There's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing. You can also find it on the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and looking for this logo in the top left, both of which get you access to a free 15 day trial so you can discover your true profitability. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next video.